Hi guys, it's Luca. Today I will show you three less common ways of using a single softbox as a light source for a portrait. I know most of the tutorials out there will tell you to place the softbox uh, 45 degrees uh, to your side, 45 degrees top, pointing down and shooting using the so-called Rembrandt lighting. But we can do better than this, we can be a little bit more original today. I will just take a couple of these uh, 45 degrees light portraits just to show you and then we start with something a little bit different. That's pretty boring, eh? So now what we will do, we will take this light and we will place it exactly behind the camera and we will create a so-called fake ring flash. Now I will show you. As you can see now, the light is basically surrounding the lens. So the light source is on axis with the lens, something that usually you should avoid. That's, uh, that's the effect that you get when you have the flash mounted on top of the camera. But in this case, we can use it in a creative way because we will use a large light source so we can create a more interesting effect than just the flash on top of the camera. Let's take a few pictures and I will show you. For a very cool effect with this light setup, make your subject stand very close to the background. So as you could see, by placing the light source behind the camera, we created something more unusual and a little bit more interesting compared to the normal 45 degrees angle that most of the photographers use. It gives you a little bit of this look that was very popular in the 80s. But now going back to the first setup, the 45 degrees, 45 degrees, we can tweak it a little bit and make something cool out of it. So what are we doing exactly? We are moving the light source completely to the side and we will create a so-called split lighting. My suggestion when you do a split lighting is or to have the subject looking completely dead straight inside the camera, so you create really half of the face illuminated and half of the face completely dark, or you make your subject look towards the light so you create a sort of interest towards the direction in which it's looking. I will show you now, let's go. I like it a lot. As you could see, simply by putting the light completely sideways, we created something new and much more interesting with a lot of texture, a lot of separation between light and dark, a lot more mystery, we can say. So now we will push this to the limit and we will put the softbox completely overhead to create a sort of street lamp effect. This type of light is a little bit more difficult to execute because most likely you will not have a catch light, you will not have a reflection of the light in the eyes. So to make it work a little bit better, you can have your subject looking up, so his face will be completely illuminated, or looking down to create more mystery. I'm standing under the softbox, but instead of being exactly at the center, I take a little step back, so I am at the edge. This will help to still have a little bit of light going in my eyes. But I will show you that now, if I look straight in the camera with the light in this position, my eyes will be dark and I will look like a panda. Let's see. As you can see, not very flattering, so let's change the position of the head. I will now proceed to edit a couple of pictures for uh, each setup. I will put them side by side and you will tell me in the comment which one you like more, which setup you like more, why, or your suggestions for another alternative use of one softbox. I think that today we got some very interesting pictures, so I hope that you will incorporate these new light setups in your future portrait works. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to my channel, you can follow me on Instagram Luca Lombardi Photo, you can check my website lucalombardifoto.com and see you next time.